Let's drink some beer. It's getting a lot better. Uh, uh, when you need to. I have a tattoo to my foot. I don't bust my ass. <laughs> We're moving to Arkansas. <laughs> Obviously gonna go in the video. <laughs> what is up ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new YouTube video. Your boy is absolutely cracked out of his mind today. I have an amazing, amazing day. I hope you guys are doing the exact same. This is gonna be an absolutely incredibly fun weekend, incredibly fun video for you guys. We are headed to Eureka Springs, Arkansas, I'm going to meet up with some friends. My pledge brother and close personal friend, Alex England and his they put it on social, right? I can say fiance. And his fiance, Aspen, another friend of mutual friend of ours, have not seen them in a very long time. Cassie hasn't seen them in forever. I haven't seen them since the Oklahoma video that I put up uh, sometime last year. We're gonna meet up with them. Gonna have an awesome weekend, Eureka Springs, do some hiking, hit up some hot springs, hit up some fun restaurants, maybe do some zip lining, some haunted house stuff. I don't know, man. The weekend, and more importantly, the world, but quite literally just Eureka Springs and surrounding areas, is our oyster. So I hope you guys are ready for it, because I know I am. But first, because we don't have enough caffeine in our body, you know. Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you know we had to get some more. I can get it in the hole. I have trouble with that sometimes. I had a dream that I can't forget. The world was blurry and your lips were red. We made it. Welcome, friends. Aw, Sarai. Thanks. Just made it to the Airbnb, and for lack of a better way to put it, this place is adorable. After some exploring, I figured I'd give you guys a tour. Excited for an incredible weekend. Alex and Aspen are en route. The boss and I, I don't know what we're gonna do. Chill out, do some drugs, maybe? No, drugs are bad. Yeah, don't do drugs, we're not gonna do any of that. But Alex and Aspen are en route. Don't know what the plan is for the entire weekend. I just know it's gonna be an absolute blast. So for right now, we're gonna chill out. Hopefully later, we'll go get some food. Now let's go get a drink. Leave it to us to get Mexican on vacation. But it's like upscale Mexican, right? So it's classy? Is it called classy? Yeah. It's like a, called like a cantina in any event. Marks are on the way. Tacos are on the way. Pretty stoked. Stoked, camera lady. Celebrating six years with this ugly mug. Yeah. Mexican was had, I'll be honest, for a place that I spent 50 to 60 bucks at, um, not worth 50 to 60 dollars. It's rare that we have Mexican and don't enjoy it. There's three little pork tacos, she had three little steak tacos and two margaritas. The margaritas, we did get the classy, the special ones, whatever. I just figured we're here, like, 
They got their own house margarita. We should buy it, whatever. All in all, not worth the $60. I think that's our first like less than awesome Mexican experience in a long time. Portions were super low, super overpriced. Yeah, so if you're in Rogers, Arkansas and you go to I would just go ahead and wait the 45 minutes at Please. public parkside because it's gonna be 10 times better. Saturday morning, almost afternoon, big day ahead of us. You know we gotta get cracked out first. What coffee did you get? I got an iced latte, mm -hmm. lavender honey, and oat milk. Some TikTok shit. I know. Yeah. Trendy. Oh, that's delicious. Uh, yeah. That's fantastic. The bean that you recommended. Very good. I think I just had a Guinness World Record level of bladder holding. So if anybody knows the current record, wow, let me know because I will probably beat that. Okay, I, I would believe that. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. I feel like I lost hours. a pound just peeing. But we're in downtown <laughs> Arkansas it is. right now. I don't care. Go ahead. <laughs> Can you please start over? Please, please. No. Why? <laughs> I love you. I have competition. Oh no. For the longest, longest no. held bladder. <laughs> downtown Eureka Springs. We're gonna go walk around and uh, and get some food and then probably talk more about peeing at some point. Oh so. yeah, that's happening. Yeah. How long have you held your bladder before? Longer than 12 hours? Aspen might have you beat. <laughs> oh. I don't know. That's a long time. Are you bowing out from the competition? Are you are you what? proclaiming her the bladder queen? Is that what you're I saying? Guess. Did you say 12 hours? Maybe not 12 hours. Maybe 10. Definitely. I 10. definitely haven't held it that long. I haven't held 10. All right. Bladder queen she title wins. goes to Aspen. She wins. Congratulations. <laughs> what do you have to say as the bladder queen? What's do you have any advice for the for the listeners out out there? Um, always pee when you need to. It is not healthy to hold your bladder. And that's from a nurse. So. Yes. She gets it. Safe, safe peeing. peeing. Safe peeing. <laughs> Both sexually and non. Yeah. What we're, that's what SP. Yeah. Finally found. It's probably really weird on your perspective, so sorry. <laughs> After much walking and much deliberation and figuring out that uh, a lot of places around here don't open until 2, 3, 4, 5 p.m. And we don't want to wait because we're hungry. We decided on this small little bistro. And uh, so far, I'd say it's pretty quaint. That's how I would describe it. Just mm -hmm. You have nothing else to add. I didn't know you were That's it. Just mm -hmm. You want some, you lose some, I guess. I guess so. <laughs> some deviled eggs. Some calamari. A mule. How do you lose? Or do you? You don't. You don't. In this, in this sense, this is one of the sum that we win. Yeah. What are we getting? Macaroons. Were you gonna say it in a French accent? Yeah. Were you gonna say it funny? We got finished eating lunch. Just a random feed it to me. It's supposed to be funny. It's gonna be a nap for my whole but... Anyway, finished lunch. Lunch was delicious, feeling a lot better. Uh, now we're eating macaroons. Lemon raspberry. Not bad. We're gonna go walk this off. Go to some shops. Have some fun. Are you ready? Ooh. Like Zoe 101? All right, cool. Well, that's weird. I have the same rule for myself. Chicken and waffle chocolate bar. Can't be wrong. Chicken and waffles are delicious. Chocolate's delicious, so how do you lose? Friends, enjoy at your leisure. No? Okay. You? Stop. Okay. <laughs> You can get chicken or waffles. chicken or waffles. No, it tastes like a chocolate crunch bar. <laughs> While it's good, I'm disappointed.
All you. Fantastic shot. <laughs> Shortcut for cutting watermelon. Watermelon cutting trick. Just diving right in, huh? Cut it in half. Dear Christ. Okay. That is going <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I bet you guys didn't know you were gonna get a watermelon cutting lesson on today's video, but we fucking we are. Okay. This is the important part. <laughs> Pay attention, kids. Yes. Slice it. Down there. Wow. Look at the finesse. Wow. The style. The professionalism. Oh my god. Look at her go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay, where you at, bro? Did this myself. I've been doing this for a long time. What do we got going on here, my man? Got some chicken tenderloins cooking. Yeah. We got pasta, feta, spinach, yeah? mushroom. Yeah. All that shit. Yeah. Looking super good, Chef Anglin over here. Just dicing it up, my man. I'm trying. Yo, Gordon, you better watch out, dude. Oh shit. Better watch your back, bro. Day two! And it's uh, not hot as shit, which is fantastic. State park hiking. I don't have a thing to write with hiking. Like a country no, show? No, we ain't biking. Ooh, state park hiking. We ain't biking. I don't even know what we're gonna do after that. Go to Fayetteville, hit up a mall. I don't know, man, the world is our oyster today. I don't even like oysters, but we're gonna do it. And the best part is, I don't even know her. So I can't oyster. First step of any day, especially on vacation, we gotta get cracked the fuck out. So let's go get some coffee. Here at Hobbs State Park, and it is absolutely dead. Ain't nobody here. Very exciting, long hike ahead. Maybe some swimming. I don't know what's gonna happen, but it's gonna be beautiful. We got the GoPro climbing prohibited on structures. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Obligatory second round of caffeine. Four mile hike. No food. So we're going to get some sushi, of course. Second dose of caffeine had to be had. And live life cracked out, or I don't live life at all. Just gotta be honest, man. That's just, that's just, that's my motto. Uh, I have a tattoo to my foot. We're gonna get some sushi. Holy mm -hmm. dear God. It's been a while since I've had sushi. Like, same. So we much food. I'm going to inhale this food. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. I'm so you too. I was like, you. You too. Yeah, you also enjoy your job. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's time to eat. <laughs> Phenomenal. We are now in downtown Fayetteville. Not exactly sure what we're gonna do. Probably go get some beers later at this brewing company, but we spotted some spin scooters. I've never been on them. Cass has never been on them. Alex and Aspen have some great things to say. So we're gonna give it a whirl. Hopefully, I don't bust my ass. I think the crush. 
And did you get the dank tastic? No, we got. We have to. Why did we not get the dank tastic? I didn't see that. I have to drink that. What the hell? I'll probably get a pint. I'll probably get a pint of that. Okay. That is a beautiful flight. That really is like a rainbow aspen. You're not wrong. We go light. It's an all day. Took, took a long spin ride through town. Took a long spin through town, one might say. Made it to the brewery. Gonna have some drinks. I realize they don't um, have food. After coming from sushi, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have food here. <laughs> so, they usually have food trucks, but they're not open today. So, we can go to any of the 18 places we pass on the way in. Yeah. So. Alright, let's drink some beers. Just me documenting Cassandra drinking a non Budweiser beer. Freezing. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Steve. Yeah. Imbev would be upset. How is it though? It's good. Good. Lemony? Lemony fresh. Is it witty? Like me? <laughs> Finger that tea is probably going to be yeah. jumping like yeah. that. Yeah. Dear God. Yeah, wow. This is like probably the best pizza I've had in a long time. In a long time. Yeah. Dare I say it? Better than Domino's. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I, I gotta admit, it's just. I would hope so. Sorry, Domino's. You got a special place in my heart, but you're not this good. That pizza put me in a fucking coma. Uh, if you guys are ever in... It's like hard to talk. I still got meat sweats going. You guys can probably see. Uh, if you guys are ever in Rogers, Arkansas, go downtown and have the rail of pizza companies. Absolutely delicious. Hands down, the best pizza I've had I, in a long time. I mean, I, I don't remember the last time I've had pizza that good. Yeah. Um... I think it beats pizza places in like the heart of St. Louis, honestly. I it, it was one of the best ones I've had for sure. Top five, without a doubt. Um, I'm like food drunk right now, so I can't do like a recap of the trip, and I don't really want to do it. I'm definitely hungover. Uh, I'll do a recap of the entire weekend tonight, tomorrow, whatever. Whenever I feel like I'm not dying, now time for a long drive home. Holy cow! First of all, it is like a week and some change later after the trip. Um, the last like week and a half have been absolutely insane, incredibly busy. The Arkansas trip was an absolute blast. I had an incredible time with Alex, Aspen, and Cassie for our weekend in Arkansas. Uh, we don't get to see them very often at all, so it was awesome to spend the weekend with them, and it was just great kind of doing a little weekend trip, not a full-on vacation, didn't spend a whole lot of money, which was awesome, didn't spend a whole lot of time either, really, and we still feel like we got the most out of the trip. There were zero bad vibes all weekend, which is super hard to come by. We kind of just did whatever the hell we wanted the whole weekend, and it was fantastic. I did gain four pounds over the weekend, but that came off incredibly quickly. I'm gonna wrap the video up here. It's gone on too long. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I like to break my uploads up every now and again and throw in like a non-fitness related video or even if it has like some fitness content. I try to keep it minimal just to give you guys a more realistic and authentic view into my regular life, you know, because at the end of the day, like fitness is not my whole life. While it may seem like that on the surface, there's a lot more that goes on behind the scenes. And as focused as I am on fitness and my fitness goals, it certainly is not the entirety of my life. So that being said, I really hope this video shed some more light on that for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new, or if you have not yet already, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button, hit the like button, hit all the buttons, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.